Alright, so here we are at the Mythal Cloister of Trials. Let's begin by pushing the first pedestal in here. Make sure that we always keep one sphere orb in there at all times. Because we need those to uh, travel on the tracks here. So this is going to be the first track that we get access to. And what we're going to do first is... Okay, well this is easy. Confirm direction, since there's no other direction to go on. And we have to time this one, so make sure that you're timing, timing it so it's right. So the arrow's pointing right, because this takes us to a new track. And this is going to turn into a multi-track shortly. Basically what we're going to do is, I'm just going to speed this up, hit that direction key to go all the way down. And we're going to grab this sphere here on the uh, placeholder and hold it in our hands. Because now, we have to turn this this one up here into a, into a multi-track. So let's confirm. And the reason why I have this one in my hands is because we have to take the right path first for efficiency, just to make this a little bit quicker. So hit forward and hit time it so you hit the right arrow key here so that we can just place the uh, sphere that we have in our hands right into the placeholder without having to take anything back out. Now it's going to show you what happened here. It, it shows us that another track was created so that we can have, so that we can get access to that track. So now it's a multi-track now that the second track there is, is turns into a multi-track. So we'll be able to turn that direction now. But first let's reverse ourselves. And since we're reversed, we have to go on this right track now and grab the sphere. So once the arrow's pointing right, time it so that you turn this way. Otherwise you're just gonna go right past it. And you'll have to it'll be a little bit longer to, for you to come back. But uh, grab this sphere here, and it's fine to keep this one in our hands, so let's just push this. And we're gonna go all the way off, off track now, so... Yeah, let's just go all the way off track, and that's gonna bring us at the very beginning of the first track, where we have to make a right turn, if you remember, to get access to what is now a multi-track. So we can go forward, left, and we can reverse ourselves, but we want to go left. And this part here is actually harder to time, because the easiest way to time it is by sinking the arrows. You have to sink like this arrow with the right keys there. And yeah, let's see. I need to go all the way to the end here. And I missed it because my mine wasn't synced. So here's what I mean. When you land here, you're going to see the, the up arrow. Now, depending on where you want to go. So in order, we want to go to the very end, right? So we have to sync this this up arrow with the up arrows up there. On your first look, if the up arrow is synced with the right arrow key, that means that you have to skip it and wait for it to go around one more time. So here I am. So mine's perfectly synced with the second. With the second up, up arrow key, as you can see there, which means the, the the other arrow should be a right turn. So now I should be able to easily turn right on the on the last one here, and that's going to take us here. And we have to do the same thing when, once we want to turn onto onto the second path. We have to sync it with the right arrow instead of the up arrow, just to make things e just to make it easier. Okay, so we have it in there. Now we can push this. We have to grab the glyph now. So let's go off track, and we want to sync this up arrow with the right arrow on, in, a, in the middle. Okay, it's synced. Now it's synced. It was synced with the up arrow before, so I skipped it and waited one turn to sync it because with the right arrow. And now we should be able to automatically hit the right arrow here. And there's our glyph. So this glyph orb is completely different than the orbs that we've been grabbing. This glyph orb is, is required to get the destruction sphere. So grab that and let's push this all the way to the track. Once you get back on here, we have to go to the next track here. So get try and time it. There, we got it. Okay, so with the glyph in hand, let's uh, reveal the destruction sphere here. And uh, we're gonna keep this one in our hands as well. No sense in putting it inside the pedestal. Now let's push this onto the track, and let's go all the way off track. 
until we're back here. Okay, so let's sync this with, with the right ear on the middle. There we go, I got mine synced. So I'm, I'm gonna speed this up because it should. I can just spam it, it's automatically gonna hit because it's synced. And let me put this in. Now we're missing one um, blue sphere. You see that turned into a teleport? Okay, we're not going there yet. That's actually the first uh, direction pad at the very beginning of the new track. We're not going there yet. What we want to do is go to the very end here. Okay, and we want to go back here. And we want to go back here. So now we want to grab this sphere that we used to create a path to the destruction sphere. And this time we'll keep this one in hand because now we all we need is two spheres. That's it. Now we're going to go on the first path here. So let's just go all the way off track. Okay, I got a sync so I can speed this up. And it's always going to hit the right track. Alright, so once you land here, let's push this pedestal onto the next track here. And go all the way down towards our new teleport here that we use for the destruction sphere. And that's going to take us here, so let's grab the chest up here. And this is going to create the teleport, and by the way, inside the chest was an HP sphere. Because I'm pretty sure you probably missed it. So let me slow this down so you won't miss it. The next chest there. Alright, so that's Bevel Sphere inside there, and this is going to activate this, this track here. And then all we do is just push this onto that track. And we ride it to get the Night Lance. So Night Lance is for Kamari, it's going to give you a total of plus 18% strength. So you can put that on if you like. And we can go all the way this way for the cutscene. 